Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mrs. Stannis here presenting to you Saxon Lesson 60, which is about our good old friend, the Polygon. So please have your notes in front of you and a pencil and put your name on top. And we are going to begin by talking about the definition of a polygon. So you've been learning about shapes since kindergarten or actually probably before that. Um, some shapes are polygons, and here is the definition right here on the top of your notes. It says polygons are closed, flat shapes with straight sides. So there's really three criteria they have to have. They have to be closed and flat and have straight sides. So let's look at this um, picture here. Which of the following is a polygon to try to get us to um, hone in on that definition? So let's look at A, B, C, and D. And I'd like you to look at the definition of polygon and circle the shape that you believe to be a polygon. Okay, so letter A does not meet the criteria because the one side here is not straight. So that is not a polygon. Letter B is not a polygon because it is not closed. See how there's an opening here? It's kind of like a maze. So B is not a polygon. Letter C this is looking pretty good. It's closed, it's flat, all the sides are straight. Let me just check with D to make sure I have it. D is not a polygon because it's not flat, it's 3D. So we found it. Letter C, the shape there, is a polygon. Okay, so why aren't the other three shapes polygons? We talked about it just now. So maybe you can jot down right next to the shapes all the reasons why not. So this one was curved, this one was open, and this one was 3D, wasn't flat. Okay, let's move on. Is this here a polygon? All right, so I want us to consider the definition. Is it closed? Um, yes, I don't see any openings that I can you know, draw a line through. Is it flat? Yes, it doesn't look to have any 3D elements. And does it have straight sides? Well, let's just double check, but yeah, they all look straight. Nothing looks curved to me. So it fits all the definitions. So that means it is a polygon. So this polygon has 23 sides, if you count them all up, and vertices. Remember vertices is the plural of vertex, so I'm kind of coloring some of them in right now. Those are the vertices. There's 23 of them. It is an irregular polygon, so that's a bolded word because not all the sides and angles are the same size. So that would be an irregular polygon right here. Okay, moving on, polygons are named by the number of sides they have. Uh, the chart below, let me just move this, the chart below names some common polygons. So we have a chart very similar in the classroom. Uh, it's, I think the chart in the classroom is called common polygons, but here it just says polygons. So we have the shape along the side, we have the number of sides in the middle column, and of course the name of the polygon on the right. Um, now it's important to note that a polygon not only has that many sides, but also that many vertices. So of course the first one we have a triangle here. I'm just going to put dots on the three vertices. There are also three vertices. A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. Um, there's a lot of different types of quadrilaterals actually. This right here, of course, is a rectangle, so that's one type. Um, then a five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. So I'm just going to keep dotting the five, like the five vertices here, just to kind of draw attention to the fact that polygons have the same number of sides and vertices. A six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. And this is an example of a hexagon right here. And a, an eight-sided polygon is called an octagon. So that's like your stop sign. And here's the eight vertices. Now they skipped a seven-sided polygon because that's not a very common polygon. A seven-sided polygon, in case you were wondering, I'm just going to put seven-sided polygon over here. Does anybody think they know? It's called a heptagon. Okay, just for those of you who are curious. Now it does say down here um, what I just mentioned. Two sides of a polygon meet or intersect at a vertex, the plural is vertices, and a polygon has the same number of vertices as it has sides. So please try to remember those names of the common polygons. All right, let's move on. Example two, what is the name of a polygon that has four sides? All right, well, let's think. I actually kind of copied the solution from the textbook here. It says the answer is not square or rectangle. So if that's what you were initially thinking, because it says four sides, Think again. Actually, think back to the chart we just looked at. 
squares and rectangles do have four sides, but not all four, sorry, not all four-sided polygons are squares or rectangles. The correct answer is, what do you think it is, ladies and gentlemen? Hopefully you are thinking quadrilateral, which was the name in the chart. So a quadrilateral is the correct answer. A rectangle is one kind of quadrilateral. A square is a rectangle with sides of equal length, but the most general term that fits any four-sided um, polygon is called a quadrilateral. So fill that in, and if you can't fit it in that little rectangle, just write it underneath. All right, now let's learn um, another term here. It says if all the sides of a polygon have the same length and if all the angles have the same measure. So same length and angles have the same measure. Okay, we have something called a regular polygon. That's what a regular polygon is. All the sides are the same length and all the angles have the same measure. So now we have a bunch, um, eight different polygons. Which of the following look regular to you? Circle them. Okay, so why don't you pause and try this and then we are going to look at it together. So I'm gonna start up here with the square or what appears to be a square. I would circle this one because it looks like all four sides of the square are equal and of course all of the angles are 90 degrees. So that's how I know the square is a definite gimme. That's a terrible circle, but you get the point. Now I'm gonna look at the triangle here. It does appear to be equilateral. Now I could get a ruler and measure just to make sure, but it does look like all the sides are the same and these angles all appear to be the same size, probably 60 degrees, because all the angles add up to 180, so 60 times three. So that one I'm also going to circle. Okay, now this third one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is a hexagon, but it does not look regular to me because these sides look much shorter than these sides. So I'm not circling that one, it does not look to be regular. The arrow, that also does not look to be regular because look, this is a very short side, there's a longer one, the angles, these are 90 degrees, these are very acute. So no, that's definitely not also. Now let's go to the star. The star is kind of a, an interesting case. You might have circled it, and if you did circle it, that's okay. I agree with you. Technically though, it's not a regular polygon. Um, all the sides are equal, so all the sides on the star are equal. But the thing is with the angles, Technically, the angles aren't all equal because these inside angles on the inside of the star are the same, but a star also has these exterior angles, these ones out here, that aren't the same size as the interior angles. So if you want to get very technical, a star is not a regular polygon, but if you circled it, I'm okay with that. We don't have to get that technical. Now let's look at the rectangle here. It looks to be a scalene rectangle because I don't see any three sides, any of the sides are the same, so that's not regular. The next shape over, and test yourself to see if you know what this shape is. It is a parallelogram. It does not look regular. I think the tall sides look, well, taller than the uh, horizontal sides. Okay, so that's not regular. And then lastly, we have what appears to be a diamond, but if I turn my head a little bit, it looks just like a square as well. We have four 90 degree angles and we have four equal sides. So I'm gonna circle that. So we have three really true regular polygons, one, two, three, and then the star is sort of a regular polygon. All right, now you're gonna learn a new term. Well, actually it really shouldn't be new. It should be a review, but it says congruent. That's another word you hear in geometry a lot. Congruent polygons have the exact same shape and size. So congruent equals identical. Line segments and angles can be congruent too, but here we're gonna mostly talk about congruent polygons. They have to be identical. So now why don't you try the activity, circle the pairs of congruent polygons below, and then check back in with me and see if we have the same. So the first two are the isosceles triangles. Did you know that was isosceles? Hopefully you did. They look exactly the same shape and size, so I'm gonna circle them. The next, um, Quad, not quadrilateral, well they are quadrilaterals, but parallelograms do not look congruent. One is definitely larger than the other and congruent has to have the same shape and size. These would be something else. Do you remember the name for polygons that have the same shape but not the same size? I'm gonna write it here, similar. That's what they're called. Okay, now the arrows, they do appear 
to be the same shape and size. I think I can actually move them and double check with the magic of the smart board. Let's see, so if I turn it, yep, look at that. They can lay one right on top of the other. So I know the arrows are also congruent. Like I said, I know you can't do that in your notes, but that was a test right there to see. Okay, now these down here on the lower left, that's just silly because they're not even the same shape. We have a trapezoid and then a parallelogram. So no, of course they're not congruent. The middle triangles here um, on the bottom, they look to be congruent. They're just facing different ways, but they definitely look to be the same shape and size. If I did that test I just did with the arrows, I'm sure it would produce the same result. And lastly, we have two diamonds or squares, um, but they aren't the same size. They look to be similar. And I'm realizing I just made a mistake. I'm sorry about that. Um, I circled the uh, parallelograms up here. I didn't mean to do that. Like I meant to circle them because they were similar, but I wasn't following my own rules. So sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to keep similar there. I'm not going to circle those because they're not congruent. Okay. So there is a review of similar and congruent. Now we have one more activity I'd like you to try. If you want to pause the video and try this on your own and then check back in, feel free to do that. All right, it says number one here, draw a square. So don't count the box on the notes as the square. Actually draw a square <laughs> inside that square. So you should have something that looks like this. I put four little marks through the sides to show that this side is equal to all the other sides. So this side is equal to this side and this side and this side. Okay, next up, you are going to draw a rectangle that is not a square. So please try that next. Hopefully you are going to come up with something like this. If it doesn't look exactly like that, it's okay. But that is a rectangle that's not a square. So what I did here is I put one line through these sides because those are the same length. And I put a double line through these because those are the same length, but they're not the same as the other sides. That's how that's like geometry lingo there or geometry notation. Now for the third one, draw a rhombus that is not a square. Ta-da! That's a rhombus. And that was probably the one that many of you were like, huh? I don't know what that is. But this is a rhombus. A rhombus has four equal sides like a square, but it's not a square because it does not have 90 degree angles. So it's kind of like a square that's been squished in, almost like a diamond. Okay, so what name describes all of these polygons and how do you know? Well, they're all four-sided shapes. So hopefully you thought of the word quadrilateral because quadrilaterals all have four sides and vertices. If you thought of that, good job. And which of these figures are regular and why? So take so take a look at that definition of regular again, if you forgot. Regular has all sides the same and all angles the same. Well, the first one, the square, has all four sides the same. And we know that on a square, the angles are all equal also, 90 degrees. So that definitely is regular. So I'll put yes here for now. For the rectangle, well, the angles are all the same, but not the sides. So that one's not regular. And the rhombus has all four sides the same, but not the angle. See how these are acute? And these, I'll put a double line, are obtuse. So no, that's not regular. So the only regular one of the three that we drew is the square, because all four sides and angles are equal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just about done. We have one more example. A regular octagon has a perimeter of 96 inches. So that's the perimeter, and that's not the length of each side. How long is each side? So go back to your chart if you forget how many sides an octagon has. An octagon has eight sides. So if the perimeter is 96 inches and it's a regular octagon, that means all the sides are the same, we would simply do 96, our perimeter, and divide by eight, our number of sides. And that would give us the answer. So try it out. See if you get the same thing as me. And we get 12 inches. So one foot, but I'm just going to say 12 inches. So 12 inches for each side because 12 times 8 is 96 and an octagon has 8 sides. Okay, there is a pretty short practice set here for you to try, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much and we will go over them tomorrow in class. See you next time.